I, I think our audience will not forgive me if I don't dive into the supplement piece for just a minute. I saw a, a debate raging on a functional medicine group yesterday about um, whether or not omega supplements are contaminated with things like PCBs to the same degree that the whole fish would be. And if we need to be concerned about environmental toxicity in supplements, I would just love to hear your perspective. Um, yeah, my perspective again is um, it is, there are, it's nice to get a quality supplement. And I think there's a few things that are important. One, I think triglyceride form. Uh, yeah, Lavaza and Lavaza and um, Visipa are in ethyl ester form. Ethyl ester is not incorporated into cell membranes quite as readily. It's not as bioavailable. It absolutely has to be taken with food, preferably with a higher fat meal. But um, you know, some people, if their doctor prescribes it, they're going to take it, and that's compliance is an issue. So triglyceride form um, is more bioavailable. It does incorporate into cell membranes much better, and I think that's important. Two, I think um, oxidation status. So it so fish oil is a polyunsaturated fatty acid. Um, so it is prone to oxidation. There are isolation protocols that can be done that can minimize that that oxidation, such as doing it under liquid nitrogen, for example. And um, there are third party testing sites that will test omega three oxidation status. And they also test PCBs, mercury and everything. I think the best one that I use is called the International Fish Oil Standards web website. It's IFOS. And mm, there's a ton of different brands on there. If you go to their products sheet, you can click on the product and then they have batch numbers for all the different types of omega-3 supplements that are out there. Um, and then you can then look at the raw data. You can look at their oxidation status. You can look at how high the mercury and PCBs are all those things. I would say the most important thing is concentration of EPA and DHA, triglyceride form, and then, you know, perhaps the oxidation status. I, I don't, I think because most of these fish oil supplements are purified, they're, they're run through a column. You are, they are purifying away a lot of these, uh, you know, toxins and stuff um, that it's not as big of an issue. The most important thing though, is the omega-3 fatty acids protect against the, the potential negative effects. Like I said, in the developing fetus where they're so much more sensitive, so much more sensitive to the mercury, the PCBs and everything, the omega-3 fatty acids are protecting. And that's the study I like to cite whenever I get that question about, but what about, but what about the toxins? But what about the toxins? It's like, you know, here's the thing, focus on what we need to be getting, like, what are we, you know, if you focus on the toxins, the toxins, like you're not going to get any omega-3 or you're not going to be in, getting enough of it, you know? And so, um, and I think that is way more detrimental than any little amount of, you know, mercury or PCBs that are going to hitchhike in because the omega-3s are so good at lowering inflammation. And that's kind of one of the major things that you're worried about with those things. I mean, it, it's, to me, it's kind of like a levels thing, right? Where it's like, yeah, but you're getting so much more of that other thing that's going to negate, you know, the potential negative effects of the PCBs and mercury. So IFOS, good, good source. Um, Labdoor is another one. They don't real, they, they kind of have a different, um, they like rank things. And so most of the time they're sold out of the most top, top ranked supplement, but you can go on IFOS and find tons of other supplement brands you know, and, and regionally. So like Canada, if you live in Canada, you'll find some that are Canadian found in Canada or Europe or U S. And so I think that, um, go out there and, and find a supplement that makes you feel good. It's got a high level of EPA and DHA. It's got, you know, low oxidation, perhaps lower mercury and, um, you know, and don't, don't sweat the small stuff.